Hey everyone, it's Alexis here and welcome back to my florist YouTube channel. So in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to make this really pretty simple pastel flower arrangement. So what I did, I actually went to the grocery store, I grabbed a bouquet of flowers and I brought them here to arrange with you. So I'm going to start by just unpacking this bouquet here because I'm actually not really sure what is in this arrangement here today. Removing the plastic, perfect, and removing any of these uh, rubber bands here. Ooh, okay. So what I like to do first is I like to add greens and foliage to the vase first because the greens allow the other flowers to have something to sit in. It gives the arrangement some structure. So today I'm going to be using this mason jar vase here today. I really like this. I feel like this is like really nice and summery, springy. So the biggest thing when you're greening up any vase, you don't want there to be any leaves in the water. So what I'm going to be doing first is I'm just going to be removing any leaves that are going to be touching the water. So I'm just going to kind of pull off any of those leaves that are going to be hitting the floor. And once my stem is completely rid of any leaves, then we can insert it. But what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to kind of go through a couple of stems here and just kind of prep my stems. So like a stem like this, I could actually break this up into like a couple of different pieces here because it's so leggy, I like to call it. Leggy. Once I have a good amount of greens ready to go, then I can start inserting them into my base. So what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to take like one stem at a time and before you insert anything into your water, you always want to make sure you're giving everything a fresh chop. So I'm just going to give it a chop. And I'm going to just start inserting my greens into my base here. Now, the most important thing that I'm doing right now is that I'm inserting everything on an angle. So as you're inserting your flowers into your base, you want to insert everything onto an angle. So that way your stems start to create an X in the base and that's gonna help all of your flower stems from moving around later. Starting to insert on the angle, place, cut, we're gonna rotate the base, we're gonna insert just like that. Now I do have some of these pieces of Dusty Miller that I wanna use, and I really think this is just gonna give my arrangement some pizzazz. So these like smaller pieces, I'm just gonna pull them off just because these are gonna to touch the water. Take my stem here, and I kind of just want this to like, yeah, just come like right out there. So I'm just gonna cut off this a little bit. We're gonna insert on an angle right towards the center of the base here. Now, just doing this alone, it already looks kind of pretty. So that is a good base to start with. Now, when you're arranging any base, what I always like to start with are my heaviest and biggest flowers first. So I'm gonna start by just adding this hydrangea and I'm probably gonna start by adding them closer to the edge of the vase here. Hydrangeas kind of like, if you can see it, they kind of like droop over a little bit. So I'm gonna kind of just place him towards the lip of the vase here. Now, if you want to know how much stem you need to cut off, what you do is you take your hydrangea stem, you go to the edge of the table here. If I want my hydrangea to sit right about here at my base, I know I need to cut off at least this much stem. So if I want it to sit here, I'm going to measure, I'm going to cut off at least that much. So now we're going to add some of these green mums to the other side of the base here. So I'm just going to trim them so they are the same height as the hydrangea here. So I have one thing going on one side of my base, so just to balance out that other side, I'm just going to be placing this green mum here. And then rotating my base, I'm going to just add another flower over here. So I like to work in threes. Um, I like to place everything in the form of a triangle because I feel like that helps balance out my arrangement nicely. Alright guys, here is what we've got so far. I'm starting to bring up towards the top of my arrangement here, so I'm going to just add another 
piece of daisy on the other side here. And this is just gonna kind of help balance everything. So I've got some of this beautiful delphinium and I kind of just want him to stick right at the top here. So I'm gonna place him right here on an angle towards the top. I'm gonna start to add and place in my roses because I want these to be kind of like the focal point of the arrangement. So I'm gonna start to stick them a little bit towards the center. Now what I do on one side, I just like to mirror and do to the other side. So I'm gonna stick another rose down here. And this is just gonna help balance out my arrangement on one side. So I've got a lot of heaviness here. So we're gonna bring a little bit of heaviness over there. I'm gonna take the flower, measure, give it a cut. Place her. Perfect. Now I've got these carnations here. And I think I'm gonna just place these like right here because it's just kind of like some bareness and there's like no flowers there. I'm just going to kind of place these off towards the side a little bit. So now what I do to one side, I think I'm going to just actually maybe place another carnation right here. Just because I feel like this area up here is just a little bare. So the goal when you're making any standard arrangement is to make it in the form of a triangle. Um, I like to create like the ice cream cone effect as I like to call it. So I like to have all my flowers kind of meet at one top center point and then everything just kind of flows downward from there. I have to be honest, I'm actually not 100% sure on the name of this, but it's not hydrangea, but I just think it's pretty. So for the rest of this, I'm gonna stick this on the bottom here because I do have this heavy hydrangea on this side of the arrangement. So to help balance out that side, I'm going to stick it in the blue right there. Okay, pretty. Now last but not least, I do have these uh, really cool pink Gerber daisies here that I think I'm just going to cluster together. So I'm going to put one off to the side over here. Just add one to the back of my arrangement as well. Pretty. So we've got a nice balanced arrangement on all sides of the base here. We've got one little piece of Alstroemeria, and I don't have to use them, but I do think I am going to use them just like right in here. Just because there's no flowers there. So wherever my eye stops is just where I'm adding flowers. I still do have a little bit of eucalyptus here, so I'm just going to add in the pieces. So what I'm really focusing right now is if I see any stems, if I see any flower stems, I'm just going to hide that with a little bit of greenery. Okay. And that's just going to help finish off the arrangement there. some of these little pieces that I set aside earlier, these would be perfect pieces to just kind of add in as little filler pieces. This is the finished product that we have made today. So this is just a simple standard flower arrangement. This is like a really easy beginner arrangement that I would say anyone can do. So this is nice and balanced. This is a good balanced design. That's something that I really look for when I'm making any arrangement to make sure that one side isn't too heavy here than the other side. So if you love floral design videos and you want more videos like this, definitely recommend to subscribe to my YouTube channel here on YouTube and to also join the Florist Academy here. That is the monthly membership that I offer here on my YouTube channel. So you can simply join there then you will get access to weekly full design tutorials. I post the videos here on my channel daily and I post new videos on my Florist Academy channel weekly. So highly recommend to subscribe to my YouTube channel and join my Florist Academy here. And I will see you all soon with another video. Bye.